Welcome race fans to the World Center of Horsepower, Unadilla Valley Sports Center for the AMA Loretta Lynn's Amateur National Championship Qualifier. What's happening? Guys, this is the stock motor. We had to switch out the race motor and put a stock motor in. This thing's a bone stock right out of the factory crate. 89 CR500 motor with 30 years on it. We just put a fresh piston in it. It's got a pipe and that's about it. Polished the cylinder, the inside of the motor is stock. So this is Loretta Link Qualifier. Motor's got to be stock, no race motor, but uh, this has still got one horsepower more than a 450 and about 20% more torque. So what's your plan? Whole shot. Big fat whole shot? Big fat All right, man. Be safe. I'll see you out there. Guys, the big money is here, man. All the fastest amateur riders and race teams are here today. What's that? I think so. So I just talked to him. Unfortunately, the clutch is slipping on it. We had to uh, swap the motor out yesterday, and I guess we didn't have another clutch in stock, so Wizard didn't put a new one in. But wait do you see the rigs in the pits there. I'm going to take Big Black, my KLR 60, down to the pits and try to get my press pass. Jill said she uh, might have one for me. Welcome to the home of horsepower, the World Center of Motocross, Unadilla Valley, New York. This is the AMA, Loretta Lynn's Amateur Championship. We've got all the fastest riders. What's happening? On the East Coast, they're here today, ready to do battle on the hallowed grounds of the Unadilla National Track. This is not the amateur track, the same ones the pros ride. And let me tell you, the lap times of the top B and A riders will be qualifying time for nationals. These kids are on the gas. You're gonna see next year's newest, fastest pro riders. They're all drafted right out of the the Red Lynch Amateur Championship, quite often from the B class. Riders like Ryan Dungey, Roger DeCosta pulled them right out of the B class, became one of the winningest riders ever. This is American motocross at its finest. This is family motocross, right here. Unadilla is such a scenic track. This is considered by many to be the finest track in the United States of America. It is one of my personal favorites. This is in Southwick. Um, it's called the capital of American motocross for a lot of reasons, folks. There's been some historic battles here of the best riders in the world. Very historic place. This is a three-day event here, folks, at Unadilla MX. If you can come up next year, you definitely want to do this. MX Rewind was last uh, two weeks ago on the grassy slopes. They had traditional vintage grass track motocross there. That was pretty awesome. And uh, of course they use the national track, but let's get down to the line. Guys, the track looks absolutely freaking amazing. They tilled it, which is exactly what you want to have happen. And uh, green grass and the most beautiful loamy dirt you've ever seen. Once they till it, it is awesome. You hook up and man, the roof's coming off the 500. You're not gonna want to be, be you're not gonna want to be behind it in the big 500. Check this place out. Absolutely incredible. Here come the 125s. Doing a sight lap. Oh wait, this is a two-stroke class. There's two fifties too. What's happening, fellas? Sponsored by New York Central Mutual Insurance. If you need insurance, go to those guys, man. They are the ones supporting this race. They are the ones helping Jill and Greg keep this track going after being shut down by COVID. We gotta support the people that support us. Monster Energy is here. Buy your Monster Energy drinks. Buy your insurance for NYCM. Like I said, support those that support us. The pits are packed. I don't have the final entry numbers, but I'm guessing it's around 1,500. And uh, these guys are ready to do battle here on the slopes of Unadilla. They had practice here yesterday. They had a, um, a uh, I think it was three practices yesterday for each class. So Junior got out three times, had a little bit of bike trouble, um, had some issues with his clutch cable. 
and he's got a slip and clutch and his air screw fell out on the air striker for some reason so wizard had swapped the motor um to the st bone stock motor but he didn't get a chance to go out and run it so we know the motor is good it's, it's got a couple seasons on it it's a little tired but um he says it he says it vibrates a little more and a little noisier and of course less power than the mre built500.com motor but this is they don't screw around, they have tech inspection. If you qualify, your bike has to have a production engine cases. Unfortunately, Honda doesn't make engine cases anymore for the 500, so a lot of the parts on Junior's race bike are aftermarket and wouldn't qualify. Uh, factory connection, these are the guys you want to go to for your suspension. They're at the track every single weekend all over the country. Guys like FC Mike dedicated their entire life to this sport. You won't find a better qualified guy or, or uh, group to work on your suspension. Track looks incredible. I'm sure these kids are absolutely excited. Look at the four strokes. Not a single two stroke out there in that one. One two stroke here, that's Junior. He's a little concerned his clutch is slipping. He said he had trouble clearing one of the doubles because his clutch was slipping, but hopefully uh, he'll be all right. Pretty much all four strokes here, guys. Very historic track, very patriotic, all American flags. Look at this ground. This is the stuff dreams are made of right here. Filled up beautifully. Now these guys are running the full national circuit here. Not like an MX Rewind where they ran a condensed track. Oh, they don't give a shit, you know? Kids out there on the 89 CR500. Oh, is he? Yeah. I saw him sitting over there yesterday. Wasn't he? Unfortunately, he's got he's got had some car problems. Yes, that's him right there. Did some clutch problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The motor is absolutely bone stock. Unfortunately, we have a race motor, which is fucking awesome. But uh, they won't let us run it here because it's uh, not a stock block. It's aluminum block. So this is just a we we dyno this motor, and it has about. about uh, it's 53.7, about one horsepower more than a 450 on our dyno. Wow. So the stock there, they have plenty of power. Yeah, we're on, we're on 250. Oh, those are awesome. Those are putting down probably over 40 horse at the rear wheel, yeah, I bet. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're on a 250 class with an anode seat. He looks good. He's pretty comfortable. He's hitting everything. He's skyhook everything, you know? Yeah, that's bad. That's you guys from London? Uh, we're from Connecticut, yeah. Right. He's a New England uh, beat. Shot the whole shot against the old bikes, and about three weeks before that, he did a 450 moto in New England and won. Nice. Whole shot won, so yeah. that was with a stock motor too. Yeah, that's cool. On a 31, it's all it's pretty much at this level. It's, it's mostly mostly riders. Yeah. I mean, you got to have a decent bike, but any bike from 
I mean, the 500's got all kinds of power, so oh, power's yeah. not an issue. Yeah, I think Dow Dowdy's 55 now. No, he was 21. Like I said, there's um, about 1,500 riders registered. I'll find out for sure. 